Welcome back to the Jamaican Taste Buds Kitchen. My name is Aisha, and today, guys, I have a delicious recipe for you. Today, I will be making some Jamaican pepper steak. Guys, this recipe is actually my dad's recipe. He taught me how to cook the Jamaican pepper steak when I was 15. You got that right? 15. So guys, if you want to know how I put the flavor of love into my dishes, stay tuned for more. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video and tell me what you think about my dish today. These are the ingredients for my Jamaican pepper steak. I got about three pounds of beef right here that I'll be cutting in thin slices for the pepper steak. Over here, I have my natural seasonings. I have my three different colors of bell peppers. I got my thyme, my tomato, scotch bunny pepper, onions. I got a carrot and I have some scallions. And over here, guys, I have my natural seasoning. I got, this is some garlic. I have garlic grounded allspice or pimento, paprika, onion powder, ginger powder, some browning, some salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and some browning. And right here guys, I have some accent flavor. This is gonna put a kick into your Jamaican pepper stick. What I'm gonna do now, guys, is just cut the beef in strips. We don't want the we don't want the beef to be too bulky in the pot. Okay guys, now that I've trimmed the fat of the beef, we're just gonna cut them in thin slices. And this is the way how my dad taught me to cook the Jamaican pepper steak when I was just 15 years old. Okay guys, so now that I cut up my beef in strips, this is what it looks like three pounds of beef and now that I clean my beef I cut it up in strips I'm gonna add the natural seasoning
Okay guys, so now that I have combined all my ingredients, if you realize, I did not add the bell peppers because these go in after you almost finish turning off your stove because I like my vegetables crunchy. I want the colors to stay bright and fresh and I want my bell peppers to be crunchy. The last thing you want is for your bell peppers to disappear from your pot when this is actually the showstopper of your dish. Guys, now that the beef has been marinating for an hour, this is the fun part. I have to separate the seasoning from the beef itself. Okay guys, all this hard work. I have separated my beef, my strips of beef, from the seasoning. When it's cooked, we're gonna add the seasoning. Whenever I test the oil, I always put a little bit of seasoning because the last thing you want to do is for your beef to start sticking. That's not good because what happens guys, if you put any type of meat, poultry, or any type of seafood in cold oil, it will stick and eventually it will start breaking apart and you don't want that. Guys, you should smell the aroma coming from the garlic. And you see that guys? That's, that's a signal. What I'm gonna do guys is just throw one piece in there just to test if it's ready. And see it's not sticking? The oil is ready. Don't put too much oil guys because you don't want an oily beef. Don't burn yourself. And guys, I forgot to mention, the reason why I separated the seasoning from the beef is because seasoning does burn. You don't want your seasoning to burn, so the seasoning will burn. What I'm gonna do is just brown my strips of beef, guys. And this is how my dad taught me how to cook. Jamaican pepper steak when I was 15 and trust me guys it's gonna be a delicious recipe so I'm just gonna let this brown for a little bit So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna add any water to this for a little while. So you see it's springing its own gravy, its own juices. So guys, what I'm gonna do is turn this down on a medium low heat and let it build its own gravy because guys, you want this to have all the flavors that's coming from the Jamaican taste buds kitchen. So I'm gonna cover this up and then once it builds this gravy, we'll be right back. Okay, so remember, I said I would not add any water in the pot. So this is the beef in its own sauce, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook this in its own sauce until it dries down and this is when you add the first set of hot water guys you want to keep all the flavor in so remember I said that the first set of water is gonna dry out so I'm gonna add a second set of water guys and I'm gonna stir it up This is about three cups of water, guys. And your beef is far from done. So what I'm gonna do now is cover the beef. Okay, guys, so my beef is ready. And how you know it's ready, guys, is we're gonna test it out. 
You see how easy the fork cuts into it with no effort at all? That's what we're looking for. And now that the beef is cooked, we're gonna add the seasonings. guys and now that I add the seasoning I'm just gonna add some more hot water to it about a cup of hot water will do the trick okay guys so after 10 minutes we're gonna add some ketchup and you know in Jamaica when we add the ketchup it means we're on the last of the cooking look at that you see how thick that gravy is guys that's what we're looking for and guys last but not least the showstopper so guys remember I told you that I don't like my bell peppers it doesn't matter what I'm cooking I don't like my bell peppers to you know be cooked all the way out I don't like when my bell peppers are too soft So guys, what I'm gonna do is mix this in. Look at that beautiful dish, guys. With all those varieties of colors. Mm -mm -mm. And guys, I'm telling you, once you add those bell peppers in and the flavors from the bell peppers start to be infused in the gravy, mm, it's gonna kick up this Jamaican pepper steak a notch, guys. And this is how we do it in the Jamaican Taste Buds kitchen. Yeah, ramp with me now when it comes to the kitchen, you know. My granny would be proud. I'm gonna let this cook for about five minutes or so, guys. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. Look at this beautiful dish right here. I got my Jamaican pepper steak with some fried chicken, some vegetable rice in coconut milk, my cucumbers on the side, and my avocado. So now that the dish is finished, it's time for the taste test. It's time for the taste test. It's time for the taste test. It's it. <laughs> so let's try this. Mm. My favorite thing about this is that the pepper steak actually has a little bit of kick. And my bell peppers, they still have their beautiful color and still a little bit crunchy. Guys, the steak just melts right in your mouth. Mm. This is so delicious, guys. And the aroma that's coming from the dish is to die for. As my granny used to say, I saw food for taste. 